Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Critical Speaking Group Discussion. My name is Kotroda Salsabila. My name is Edla Salsabila. My name is Yesa Mahida. We would like to present our critical thinking with the title RUPKS should be rejected or accepted. Recently, very popular discussion has been heard about RUPKS for the definition of sexual violence in Indonesia. Earlier this year was controversy over the purpose and use this RUPKS. RUPKS emerged due to high rates of sexual violence in Indonesia. On the 2017 Women's 2017 record around 350,000 cases in Indonesia of violence were reported during 2017. That number increased 75 person from 2016 by 260,000. For me, first thing first, we have to know about the search of met of the RU PKS. When we see a RU, what we look is not only the draft of the, of the RU, but also we must look at academic script that RUU has. Because the academic script is the background and the meaning of the RUU this made. RUU itself having a purpose. According to the academic script, PKS on 2017, first is RUU rests on the reason for the increasing number of victims and the development of from sexual violence in Indonesia. While the prevailing legal, legal system has not been systematically and comprehensively able to prevent, protect, restore, and empower and foster community understanding and awareness for the elimination of sexual violence. But we must see more at what RUU PKS mean, as in first verse in the first article in the draft RUU PKS 2017, the meaning of sexual violence is uh, degrading, insulting, attacking, and or other acts of the body, a person's sexual desire, and or reproductive function, possibly contradicts two with the will of a person, which causes a person to be unable to give consent in the free state due to an unequality power relation and or gender relation which result in or can result in physical physic sexual or economic distress or misery yes uh, that is a meaning of sexual violence in the era PKS what need to be underlined is forcibly contradicts to with the will of a person which causes a person to be unable to give Concern in a free state. The above mentioned that if the person is forcing to do unwanted sexual behavior and each one contradict to doing so is called sexual violence. Thus, with this meaning, it is stated that sexual violence occurs to the person who are forced to have sex, but if they like each other and are willing to do that, it means it is not sexual violence, right? With the definitive, RUPKS is clearly to legalize adultery in this couple's love and willingness to do so. And also, on the draft RUPKS number 15, according to female communists, is grant complex sexual control and freedom to women in its way. This is what feminist, feminist voice uh, to us verify this RUU. Like the slogan, my body, my choice, my body, my authority, my body, my rules, and other. In other words, uh, this is a sexual control paradigm. Uh, what is sexual control? Sexual control is uh, that they are free to determine for themselves or f free themselves to do something and or give freedom to themselves to sexual act, especially to women. So, uh, what about Islamic perspective? This is 
this is uh, absolutely out of Islamic religious teaching that mention each one is willing to do and to do anomatic sexual behavior is not banned in this RUPKS and does not care about whether this is halal or haram for us. In Islam, we have been taught that all the tree and acts and act that are closet adultery is forbidden. On top of that, the principle of this RUPKS is to give full sexual control to women who give themselves to who give themselves the freedom to perform a sexual act and given no ele element and coercion. The principle may approach one in adultery. Uh, adultery means zina in Islam. It is certainly forbidden that things can get close to zina, even uh, zina itself or adultery. As in Quran Surat Al Isra 32. Therefore, we should never just look from the cover as if it's good to be realized because it's protecting a victim. But we need to look at the academic script of this RUU, which gives a person the freedom, especially for women, in their sexual control. Not only the definition, but the contents of other academic script describing form of sexual violence. If we see deeper, it becomes a problem and out of and out of the teaching of Islam even alludes to exclamic rules such as the law of whip, internalizing symbol which is hijab is our is Sharia Islam and many more. So like what I said before, uh, what the search of this making this RUU? Why this RUU is out of teaching of Islam? After this was seen, the draft of this RUU from me uh, for me, it's like a uh, from understanding of secularism who gives someone completely freedom of sexual, like in the definition of sexual violence and the, in the draft RUU in the academic script. So, what the solution of this of this issue? We as Muslim, which are now responding to this RUU, is better to be back to the rules of Islam, uh, the role that can uh, reduce sexual violence. Uh, like such as dressing according to Islamic law and associating with the opposite sex uh, according to Islamic law so that we can avoid sexual violence even adultery itself but in Indonesia uh, there are a lot of kind religious is not only Islam but in Indonesia the majority are Muslim so, as the good city official who made this RUU have to aware about the worst came out of this RUU. Is it offensive? Is it offensive to Islamic teachings or not? Uh, is it offensive? So, please make don't be opposite to the teaching of Islam, and also do not offend, do not offend Islamic rules. So, why is the RUU PKS important? First. Because the RU PKS talks about the prevention of cases of sexual violence. Cases of sexual violence continue to be difficult to handle and its handling is a waste of time and energy. So, the most important thing is to stop the violence. Prevention cover various sectors and education become the main. Secondly, because RU PKS provide a perspective for victim protection because so far the criminal law has no perspective of the victim. Always, what is questioned in criminal law is the right of the suspect, not the right of the victim. Well, in the RU PKS, the perspective of handling and recovery of victim becomes the main one, and the third. The problem of recovery is not limited to when the sexual violence case was brought to court and decide. Recovery should have been done since this case. Four, related to human punishment, every perpetrator of sexual violence does not always have to get a prison sentence because it is a very classic punishment and more toward revenge. The punishment gives should be educational, human, and cold make perpetrator of sexual violence aware for example rehabilitation and social work such a 
punishment is very possible to be applied with this bill, with this ARU PKS. Finally, the ARU PKS emphasizes that effort to tackle sexual violence are shared responsibility, especially the, especially the state. So, ARU PKS, is that really the solution? Overview, the ARU PKS is as good, but it does not. The reason, the definition of sexual violence in this ARU PKS is a forced sexual death. This can be interpreted if there is no compulsion or voluntary sexual act, even if it is not a couple. It does not fall into the category of sectional sexual violence and execution of this new ARU PKS. So, is the new ARU PKS really the solution to your rampant sexual violence? Of course not. It's becoming a whole new thing because if the error PKS is passed, we are likely to find growing adultery on the grounds of voluntary legal state and teenagers are no exception. What will be the fate of this country if the youth of the next generation of nation are corrupted by adultery, then get pregnant out of wedlock before their time? First test, is it the it is therefore worth knowing that the roots of this rampant sexual violence are secular beliefs uh, and liberal notions in all ways including free and easy access to porn sites in this country. So the solution is to eliminate this notion and increase the love of the individual public control or Amar Ma'ruf Nahi Munkar express in Islam as well as enforcing strict laws and screaming for citizens who would trespass by the state. Sexual problems in the community has turned out to be a hot topic to be discussed in Indonesia. Many polemics that make a pro and contra happen in the community. I take examples of marriage problem of adolescents, polygamy, uh, and much more. At the beginning in these years, there are pro and contra of RUF PKS for elimination of sexual violence. RUF PKS emerged based on high number of sexual violence in Indonesia. In the annual record 2016, a uh, female columnist recorded 250,000 cases of violence reported during the year 2016 and the figure 74 person from 2016 the figure 74 person from 2017 as many as 349,000 for example of girls 12 years old of cancer patient return stage 4 because to become a victim of fornication in Padang. This sad story uh, happened uh, with a girl named TR become a victim of pedophile rap. The story that he saved in himself because the preparator always threatened and she did not to uh, tell to her parents and her parents didn't know that he got a cancer because he become because, because she become a victim of fornication or sexual violence sexual violence is not only a big problem in indonesia but it happened big problem in the world data from the un mentioned 35% of women in the world have experienced physical and sexual violence. Uh, 100 million in the world have been forced to have a sexual intercourse and other sexual acts. Okay, let's we're gonna talk about draft RUU PKS. The following are controversial chapters in the RUU PKS. Are First, the sexual control in Article 5, Paragraph, Line 2, the form of sexual violence as referred to in Paragraph 1 shall include sexual harassment, sexual control, rape, 
sexual exploitation and sexual torture and other inhuman treatment of punishment that makes the body sexuality and or reproductive organ a, a target which is categorized as sexual violence which is encouraging anyone to really choose sexual activity without any control of the other party the party who, pers- who perform the sexual counter can instead be nailed parents must not prohibit it to child for having sex because they can be categorized as social control LGBT activities are also protected with this action okay next the next uh, controversial RU PKS is this sexual freedom is increasingly visible in article 7 paragraph uh, part 1 criminal act of sexual control as of article 5 paragraph number 2 B or action committed committed by force street or of violence or without agreement with the intention of limiting subcretion disappearance and or takeover of the right to take the best decision of oneself and body and sexuality in other to do or do not to do namely the right to take the decision of the person body and sexuality to do or do not to do meaning sexual freedom must be protected including when choosing free sex gathering gathering with other people adultery and sex defeat such as LGBT furthermore in article 7 paragraph number 2 it is stated that a sexual control as referred to in paragraph 1 sexual control as referred in paragraph 1 shall include compulsion using or not using certain clothing b pregnancy compulsions uh, c the compulsion of abortion d and sterilization and e marriage compulsion shall include a compulsion using or not using certain clothing so parents should not to make a discipline or term to their children to using hijab because it includes sexual control in terms of clothing a man doesn't have to dress man and woman can using man dress but because of the experience of it includes sexual control women also have the right to dress sexy and minimal because it is considered a, a reserved right article 8 paragraph number 2 mentioned that criminal acts of rape include rape inside and outside marriage relationship as per this as per in this chapter a wife can choose to serve her husband or not if the husband forced to really this is kind of the rape category so this is the kind of uh, sexual violence and part of RUU PKS. The origin of sexual violence is not to be maintained by Islamic law to govern social interaction of society. Women's body are displayed everywhere with everywhere with vulgar. Pornography bursts to the finger trips or we, we call usually called by gadgets. Early childhood was exposed to pornography. Nowadays it's no it's it is not longer the time when people search for pornography content, but for pornographic content comes to us without being us. On the other hand, the rules about pornography and pornography actions are very weak because the definition of pornography is also increasing, increasingly liberal. The video of a girl who accesses pornography from a gadget while she is with her parents make us mirror pornography hustle for master the nature of our children's minds. The disease appears 
as a free sex society if it can be fulfilled like to adultery and prostitution if unfulfilled will be rape the result of adultery and rape no unwanted pregnancy the squall is abortion then the evil to stop the sexual violence by carrying freedom even more worsening problems sexual violence will becoming increasingly violent as sexual freedom is increasingly frustrated so the conclusion from our critical thinking that we can conclude from our critical thinking that we accepted about verifying of RO PKS but there are many of draft RO should be changed because it will be distract from Islamic law in this case the country has an obligation to make all friendly decision Indonesia has a lot of kind religion so Indonesian government have to consider when they want to make a new regulation that's all from us we hope that we can get best score from you miss thank Amin. you for your attention and see you on the next semester guys Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh